Hi everyone, um, we're back with a slightly different type of reaction video this time. Um, as we all know, TXT is having a comeback. Um, I'm slowly getting a little bit more into them, liking a little bit more of their songs in each album. Like from the previous, previous albums, I've always liked a couple of songs, but I feel like the um, last album, the name chapter, I think it was Freefall, was the first time I actually got one of their albums. Um, Cause I like I love the whole the whole album from start to finish, and now we already know they're getting a comeback and they're gonna be touring pretty soon. Cause Steven spoiled it in one of his lives, but they just um, I had seen the the themes for like their albums. There's obviously three versions: a thorough, romantic, um, and I forget what the third one is. And I already pre-ordered the romantic version because the cd itself has like a rose on it hold on to that thought um and i don't i think today i want to say today because it was 10 hours ago hive just dropped the concept trailer for <laughs> for this this album um which is to, uh miniso three miniso three tomorrow like that's the name miniso three tomorrow so I already watched it, but I want to rewatch it with you guys because I want to share some stuff with you. I don't know if like a lot of, I don't know if there's like Moa watching or if a lot of you are like into books or are caught that because I know that in every fandom we love to theorize and we'd love to deep dive and like dissect the the meaning and the imagery and the concepts. And it makes sense. It makes sense. I wonder if this has been their concept since because we're always thinking they're fairies, right? And I know like in their first album, like it was crown. And in this concept, we see like drawings of the crowd, but with the trailer, it is so obvious. I don't know if this has been their concept from the beginning, but it, for this specific concept trailer, for this storyline and tomorrow, it is very obvious where they're taking the key material. And I'm so excited because it is one of my favorite books. So we're just gonna, start we're gonna watch the video it's about eight minutes long and after we watch the video i'll explain to you guys where like certain pieces come from um in case you guys hadn't seen it before didn't weren't aware of it it's new to you just to like learn a little bit more um but I, yeah i just was super excited when i saw this and i'm like i wanted to share it with you guys like even if it's only a couple of you that watch it i wanted to share it <coughs> i have a little bit i'm getting over being sick so excuse me if I start coughing or anything like that but whew, let's go so here we see them in like a desert and in, it's like a house because you see the, the stairs and they're climbing out and just the way that it's done it's very like they're not very natural movements they're very like staccato and there's the fox if you come at four in the afternoon i'll begin to be happy from three and it's them bonding with this fox right oh yeonjun and their crowns because they're princess terry i don't know what you're saying and they're like running and just notice how the sand is like so super white and like the bright light and you could see the moon so this is not Earth, you guys. This is another planet. They're bonding and they're dressed in like what look like prince outfits and then... So. You're telling me you're princess from B612 planet. So this attack, they're talking to this detective for some reason and they're explaining to him that they're princess from planet B. And then it talks about the, the fox. It's from the Sahara. The, this type of fox is from the Sahara. Like they're in the museum. They're running away. They're, <laughs> they're so cute. <clears throat> and there's the fox. But it's like... It's not a real fox. It's like a stuffed fox. And they went to visit. At the museum, they went to visit this fox. But the eyes! If you come in for an afternoon, I'll begin. I'm sorry. He's sorry he didn't go. 
I no longer remember your name. Ugh. The guitar. The contemporary dance. Like, dude. black and white now and then not almost like back to being robots it's like they lost that those spark they're working regular jobs <laughs> it's like they lost the spark it's like they're now in stuck in this cycle look at them the princess remembering their own lives but now they're stuck in this like cycle of go 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 too busy to dream Subin, why is he so handsome? To visit a dream, they're no longer lost boys, they're no longer princess. But there's the fox, the eyes look so real. I'll begin to be happy from three. Yeonjun shows violence. He broke the fox out, you guys. Because he promised. There they go, all five of them. The speed, you can see like a little bit of magic in there. The, like the, the, the moped is like, there's the boss! The moped is driving. And you can see like a little bit of magic in like the speed. How fast they're going. Is Junju? No, is that Subin? I think that's Subin, yeah. Three of them right there. Oh, that's Junju in the yellow jacket, I think. With the fox. And it's a different one. See, now it's Subin. They tricked them. It's a decoy. And then there's the other three in that little van that stopped the detective. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm not reading. And they're not there. They're not there. It's just the van that's by itself. So there goes the young Jew. Where's the fox? <gasps> Where'd the fox go? I didn't notice that. Yeonjun. He's sad because he lost the fox. But here they are, gathered together. What took you so long? There's the fox! I've never stopped waiting for you. The prince, the prince. I won't forget you forever. There's their crowns! Mini so three tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm crying. There's the moon, and there's their planet, the princess from that planet, they're there, all in white. Ah, this comeback is going to be so good. It's going to be so good, you guys. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm crying. Now let me backtrack. So we saw that they were, we saw that they were in the desert, <clears throat> dressed like princess, and they were playing with this fox, right? And when I saw this line, so you're telling me you're all princess from the B612 planet? 
right there I knew. I knew it, I knew it, and it's like it clicked. The fox, the princess, the planet. This concept is based off of the little prince. Um, sorry if it's backwards, like it's it's flipped over. But this is Little Prince. It's a classic story. The original's in French. It's also been translated to multiple languages. I personally have three copies of this. I have the English copy, the French copy, and I have a Korean copy. Um, and to read you the synopsis in the back, it's basically, this story is about an aviator who has stranded his plane goes down in the Sahara Desert. And while he's there, he meets this little prince who tells him about his tales, like how he ended up stranded in Earth when he's from another planet. <coughs> but basically the story says, um, he lived alone on a tiny planet no larger than a house. He owned three volcanoes, two active and one extinct. He also owned a flower, unlike any flower in all the galaxy, of great beauty and of inordinate pride. That's why there's a flower in the romantic version of the albums. And then, um, it was this prize that ruined the serenity for the little prince's world and started him on the interplanetary travels that brought him to Earth, where he learned finally from a fox the secret of what is really important in life. So I pulled out my book once I got home because I watched this when I was at work and I was like, oh my God, I need to look at this. Um, and I love that it's illustrated. So it talks about um the narrator starts talking about his childhood and then he starts talking about like when he met the little prince um and now in in one of the pages he talks about i have a serious reason to believe that the planet from which the little prince came is the asteroid known as b6112 the same planet that is being mentioned on the concept trailer for tomorrow and together and there's actually a drawing because supposedly the aviator was like drawing all about this. Um, here it is. And it says the little prince on asteroid B612. So that's how big the asteroid is. That's why you can see when they're running in, um, in what looks like to be the desert. It's actually and they're playing with the fox. Um, you could see, I'm trying to get like a good picture. <clears throat> so you can see right there, the moon in the background, cause they're like on their planet and they're playing with the fox. They're dressed like princesses cause the, with those very fancy outfits and they have their crowns. So right there it says, that's the little prince's home. So they're basically like the little princess. How do you see that in plural? But anyways, throughout the story, then it goes talk on to talk about the little prince while he was exploring his planet. He found a flower, which turned out to be a very picky flower, very needy, um, very vain, very full of itself. And it got to the point that, if you could see right there, the little drawing, there's the... There's a little prince tending to his volcanoes and there's the flower that demanded a glass case because of the wind. Didn't want to get its petals flown off or whatever. <coughs> so eventually it became, it, the, the little flower was so vain that the little prince didn't want to live there anymore. And he just started to travel. But now that he's traveling, he's missing his, he's missing his home. But I want to go back to this, back to the fox. So as the little prince is telling his story to the aviator, he tells him about, oh my gosh, why can't I find it? Okay. He tells him about meeting this fox and the story is based off something very important that he learned from the fox. Um, and at one point, the fox asks the prince to tame him. And the prince was like, what do you mean tame? What does that mean? And as the fox explains it, the little prince realizes, oh my gosh, my flower tamed me because I'm at the beck and call of this flower. And the fox wants the prince to tame it. So 
It tells him like, what must I do to tame you? You must be very patient, replied the fox. First, you will sit down a little distance from me, like this in the grass. I shall look at you out of the corner of my eye and you will say nothing. Words are the source of misunderstandings, but you will sit a little closer to me every day. The next day, the little prince came back. It would have been better to come back at the same hour, said the fox. If, for example, you came at four o'clock in the afternoon, then at three o'clock, I shall begin to be happy. And that's literally the quote they use on the concept trailer. If you come at four in the afternoon, I'll begin to be happy from three. Um, I shall feel happier and happier as, as the hour advances. At four o'clock, I shall be already be worrying and jumping about. I shall show you how happy I am. But if you come at just any time, I shall never know at which hour my heart is to be ready to greet you. One must observe the proper rights. So, um, and that's how he explains to the little prince, like, how you tame somebody. Like, you get them accustomed to, like, the routines. So that when it gets to the, you think, at this time, so-and-so is coming. The fox started to think, at this time, my little prince is coming. So he started to expect him and be excited to see him. But then the little prince has to leave. And the fox says... Um, ah, said the fox, I shall cry. It is your own fault, said the little prince. I never wished you any sort of harm, but you wanted me to tame you. Yes, that is so, said the fox. But now you're going to cry, said the little prince. Yes, that is so, said the fox. Then it has done you no good at all. It has done me good, said the fox, because of the color of the wheat fields. And then he added, go and look again at the roses. You will understand now that yours is a unique in all of the world. Then come back to say goodbye to me, and I will make you a present of a secret. So in that planet, the little prince had seen some other roses. There's the rose concept for the album. Um, but it didn't compare to his flower that he had in his, in his planet, in his asteroid. So that's when he realized, okay, I actually missed my vain little flower. He was able to value it. So when he came back to say bye to the fox, goodbye, he said. Goodbye, said the fox. And now here is my secret, a very, a very simple secret. It is only when the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. It is the time you have wasted it is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. Men have forgotten this truth, but you must not forget it. You become responsible forever for what you have tamed. You are responsible for your rose. So basically the, the fox teaches the little prince this lesson that it is only what, what, what the heart can see that is essential, essential to the invisible eye. So that's why like now the little prince misses his rose because he realizes its value. So yeah, I mean, it's... <sighs> the book has like so many little stories that are like lessons, but that's the biggest one, like that, that section that they took. And here's a little picture of the fox where it says, if you come at four in the afternoon, I shall begin to be happy at three. So I was so excited when I saw that on the on the concept trailer. I just wanted to share it with you guys, see, show you guys like how they came up with this concept. And also I mentioned the Sahara because if you noticed um, in this, in the clip where it transitions from the detective to the museum, it mentions, I don't know if I'm, it's, I'm saying this wrong, the fene, the fennec, fennec fox is a small crepuscular, crepuscular fox native to the North Africa, ranging from west, from the West Sahara and mountains to this, I can't read the rest. Ranging from Western Sahara and Mauritania to this Sino Peninsula. So it mentions that this fox is from the Western Sahara, 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 Sahara. Um, um, and that's where the little prince, met, that's where the little prince met the aviator when he's telling him his story about how he met this fox. So they're both in the Sahara desert. The fox is somewhere there. The little prince met the fox in its, in its travels on earth. And now he's talking to the aviator about what he learned from this fox that he met in the Sahara.
desert. And he's talking about how he, the, the dimensions, how he's from planet, what was it? B612. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. The little prince tied in. I'm so happy that like, oh, so excited that Hyvie's using it for the concept for, for tomorrow and together for TXT. Because you guys know that they always like use literature. Um, they always reference literature or like works of literature to expand, like just like extrapolate so many detail into the storytelling. Like they do it with all of their, with all of their artists. I know popularly they've done it with um, BTS. There's like multiple albums that like each one has a like a different theme, like a different, it makes us think, you know, that make us use our brains and like expand our horizons from other than just like what we see is just K-pop and like, no, sometimes K-pop is not just K-pop. Sometimes it makes you look into other books and learn other things and just brings your worlds together, like your book love and your love of music and just like the storytelling. But I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm excited. I don't know what this concept's gonna, like what the theme song's gonna be what the video is going to look like, but I'm so excited. Um, anyways, I just wanted to share that little bit with you guys. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know if there's any other book lovers out there. If you guys have read this book, what you think of it. And yeah, that was it. I'll see you in the next time.